explain the benefits of worms in a SIP, which stands for sub-irrigated planter. I recently bought some red and night crawlers. Red wigglers and and the African night crawlers, I'm assuming? I'm assuming that. Okay. The one thing I would say about those night crawlers is they might not be too happy in those sips. You might uh, end up seeing little little strips of uh, worm leather on the floor. I'm trying <laughs> yeah. to escape. Escape, yeah. yeah. Um, the red wigglers, will, they like to live in the soil surface anyway, right? Like the detrosphere. Uh, because they are detrivores and they they live in like the uh, the leaf litter layer of the forest floor, so they'll be just fine in the in the surface of that sip. Uh, especially if you're doing like a, a Pedro style where he does the uh, the amendments right on top with the shower cap. What do you mean by saying that? Explain for the people that don't know what that is. Well. Uh, Pedro's grow room uses those sips with the, uh, the earth I think boxes. they're the earth boxes, yeah, with the shower caps on them. So he like has this elastic plastic that he pulls over the top of his <laughs> uh, his sip, and he. Um, sorry, I'm distracted. Uh, he cuts a hole in the middle, puts his plant through, and he puts all his amendments on top of that. And he's got his his feed tube and everything. And he just waters through the uh, through the fill tube. But he's creating basically a more moist culture right there on top of the soil, rather than keeping it dry. Therefore, encouraging worms. Is that yeah. the thinking? Okay. I yeah. think you might have been referring to European night crawlers too. I've heard of people using those in indoor pots they'll dive deeper and not run away. But the traditional night crawler, yeah, they won't hang around. And the night crawlers generally will d go deep and they, they go more, you know, up and down rather than left or right. So and territorial. Yeah, so in a sip, that's many. a bad thing because they're just going to go right down into the res and, and like drown. Yeah. yeah. If they can't find a way to wiggle their way back up. They're just going to, yeah, drown. So, All the action that you want at the top of the soil anyway, <laughs> you're, you know what I mean? You're trying to get that working first. Yeah, I think, I mean, Stabby gave great advice. I think you just use the red wigglers and um, you're going to have to have some kind of a mulch layer, something to keep that top layer moist because these worms need to have moisture. Otherwise, they have to produce the moisture on their skin and that's just going to make them do everything slower. So, um, to, you know, have some kind of a mulch layer or, I mean, there's lots of options there. Um, you can even do a, a plastic mulch layer like they do on the earth boxes if you wanted to. You're gonna to want to have some way of keeping that top surface, you know, at least moist. It doesn't have to be wet, but uh, you know, yeah. have some moisture. Oh, I hate goodbyes. <laughs> uh, Lloyd. Oh, she said. 